Okay, you're in Microsoft Excel and you want to perform an if with multiple conditions. Our first example will require a sequence of tests. So we're going to ask whether anyone is currently located in these three locations. And if they are, they will be moved to these three locations. So we'll do this, first of all, with a standard if. So our logical test will be, are these locations equal to Paris? If true, return Milton Keynes. Now the value of false, because we've got these other tests, will need to be another if. So I'll say, are the old locations equal to Lisbon? If true, return Grimsby. And I've got one more test. So my value of false for this nested if will be another if. So are the old locations equal to Florence. If true, we move them to Staines, comma. And then we get to this final value of false. So we've got no other tests. Now, if the old location isn't any of these locations in column E, then they stay in their old location. So our old location is the value of false. So I close the bracket there for the last if, then the second if, and then the first if. If I press enter, it will spill those results into surrounding cells. Now we can do exactly the same using ifs. Now ifs differs from if because it doesn't have a value of false. We just have a series of tests and their corresponding value if true. So the first logical test would be, are the old locations equal to Paris? If true, return Milton Keynes. Comma. Logical test two. Are the old locations equal to Lisbon? If true, return Grimsby. Comma. Logical test three. Are the old locations equal to Florence? If true, return Staines. Now, if the old location is not Paris, Lisbon or Florence, we want to retain the old location. Now, to do this with ifs, your last test would need to be true. And then you return essentially the values you want to return if none of the other tests have been met. Now, the great thing about ifs is that we don't have any nested brackets. So we just need one bracket at the end, press enter, and we get those results. Now, neither of those ways that we've looked at there are the best way to solve this problem. Often, an XLOOKUP will do the job a lot better. Equals XLOOKUP. So my lookup value are going to be these old locations, comma. My lookup array is the old location column in this table, comma. My return array are the new locations. And then if I close the bracket and press enter, you can see it returns the new locations where there is a change in location, but where we have a location that doesn't change, we just get the NA error. Now to resolve this, you just use if na. So the value is returned by our X lookup, comma, and the value if na are the old locations. So if I press enter, I get that result. And you can see that that's a much shorter formula than the others that we were using. Now, if you're used to using X lookup, you may wonder why I didn't use the if not found argument, and it's because we're returning an array of values rather than a single value. So I had to use if na instead. Now in this scenario, things are slightly different. Previously, we were running tests in a sequence. So if one test wasn't met, we moved on to the next test. Here, we want to run multiple tests simultaneously to resolve to one true or false result. And to do this, we can use AND or OR. Now in this one, we're going to use AND because we have to have met all of these sales targets in order to get the £500 bonus. So all tests need to be met. So it equals AND. Now you can't spill with the AND function. So our first set of tests will be, is B2 greater than or equal to the target for product one? And I need to lock that. Logical two is product four 
greater than or equal to the target for product four, and I need to lock that, comma, logical three, is product five greater than or equal to the target for product five? Now, if I close the bracket and press enter, I get a true there, copy it down, and I get one more true down here for Beatrice. Now, to return the bonus of 500 pounds, I just make this AND statement the logical test within our if. So here's our logical test, comma, and the value of true will be this bonus, which I'm going to lock. And the value if false will be zero, no bonus. So if I copy this down, you'll see that that works. Now in this scenario, the bonus is given if they've met any of these targets. So as long as one of these targets has been met, they get a bonus. So for this, we use or, or will return true if any of the tests are met. So the first test looks at the number of months they've been the top salesperson. So is that value greater than or equal to this value here, this target, comma. The second test looks at whether this value, the number of new customers they've introduced is greater than or equal to our number of new customers target. And I'll lock that. And then the third one looks at the total sales and says, is it greater than or equal to the sales target? Now, if I close the bracket and press enter, copy this down, you'll see I get four trues. Four people have met at least one of those targets. And if I want to apply the bonus, put this within an if, and my value of true would be the bonus, and my value of false will be a zero. Now, what if we had the scenario where you have to have met this condition, top salesperson for at least three months, and then at least one of these targets have also been met? Right, let's delete what we've currently got. Now, to achieve this, we're going to use and and or. So we're using and because this target must be met. So is B2 greater than or equal to the top salesperson target? And then we need to have met at least one of these conditions. Now, for that we use or, because or will return true if at least one condition is met. So we would say, is the number of new customers greater than or equal to the relevant target? or is the sales greater than or equal to the sales target? Now, if I close the bracket for or and then for and, and then copy this down, you see now I only get two trues, and I could put this within if to return the bonus as my value if true, and zero if the bonus is not to be awarded.